Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan Kearney and welcome back to the Overwatch League Roundup. Win conditions, New York Excelsior Edition. So, the New York Excelsior are in, are in like a very similar state to the Vancouver Titans at this stage. They're currently on a 19-2 record in the overall standings. This is extremely good. They've only got one more loss on the board than the Vancouver Titans have. So they could quite possibly... And it is in their own hands, pretty much, to they could possibly take that number one spot away from Vancouver Titans. Although it doesn't have a massive meaning to it because, again, the Vancouver Titans and New York Excelsior are in different divisions. So as long as they cap their divisions and get that first seed, they will still get the bat, get the buys past the first round. New York Excelsior are not yet locked into the overall season playoffs, but I would expect them to be. Because, basically, they'd have to lose every game this stage, this stage four, to, to fall, out of, <laughs> fall out of the automatic playoffs. They are nailed into the top 12, though. So they will definitely be in the play-ins, at least. But if they fall out of the automatic play playoff spots now, it would be a massive, massive shock. But, that being said, New York Excelsior will go into their most difficult stage this season. It's kind of a running trend with Stage 4. Vancouver Titans also go into the most difficult stage this season. So, what does Stage 4 look like for the New York Excelsior? Well, the first game they'll have to play is against the LA Gladiators. Well, the LA Gladiators have got a lot to play for because they're also in those playoff spots, but they are on the edge of them currently, fighting around in the 5th and 6th spots alongside the Hangzhou Sparks, Seoul, London and Shanghai and Philadelphia. So... They have got a lot to play for and they could quite easily cause an upset against the Excelsior here. Especially if the Excelsior take their foot off the gas knowing that they're almost certainly in the playoff spots anyway. Then you move on, they play the Paris Eternal and Chengdu in week 2. You, sh you should expect fairly easy wins for the Excelsior here. And a win in that week or a win against the Gladiators in the first week would secure them their playoff spot. But who knows what these teams got to produ might produce. Both those teams have got to really have good stages this stage to try and get into the play-ins. So Paris and Chengdu might run some interesting stats. Remember, we might be going into a triple two meta. This would also favor the New York Excelsior mind. Week three also sees a somewhat difficult week for the Excelsior. They would have to play the Hangzhou Spark and the Guangzhou Charge. Well, Hangzhou Spark are two places below the Excelsior in fourth. Hangzhou Spark are on a run lately. They are very, very good. They've nailed down the 3-2-1. They've also nailed down Goats. And they've got pretty good DPS to back them up as well. So, Hangzhou Spark are quite, could quite easily beat the Excelsior here. Especially with the run they're on. Hangzhou Spark are only really in that fourth spot because they had a bad start to the season. If they've been able to keep up the sort of form they've been showing in the past two stages. Then, perhaps it would, well, past stage or so. We would have seen Hangzhou perhaps right up with the Excelsior at this point. So Hangzhou are certainly a team to be, to be feared. Also, Guangzhou Charge, another team that are just outside the play-ins down at the uh, lower half of the league. They have got a lot to play for. But you look at the end of their Stage 3 and they did have a good end to the stage. Including beating the Shanghai Dragons, who are a top half of the league team. So Guangzhou could also run some interesting stuff. And if we go into a DPS meta in a triple two meta... You might see the likes of Happy for the charge on a Widowmaker, which could catch the New York Excelsior off guard. Although I would still expect Excelsior to have the metal to beat the Guangzhou charge, the Hangzhou Spark is a different game altogether. New York Excelsior won't feature in week 4, but when it comes to week 5, the Kit Kat rival we weekend, as I said last week, they will feature heavily. Their first game will be against the Boston Uprising, Again, at this point, Boston Uprising will know whether they're in, probably, whether they're in the overall season play-ins or not. If they still have a chance, then that's going to be a difficult game for the Excelsior because, you know, they're going to put everything on the line, Boston. Then you've got the blockbuster game. You've got the New York Excelsior taking on the Vancouver Titans. It's the last game of the stage. And, you know, that could, that could go anyway. If it goes DPS, if we get a DPS meta and triple two, you have to say that perhaps Excelsior have the upper hand here. And this is where the Excelsior can take the top spot in the league standings. 
depending on other results and map differential. So, Excelsior, they don't have as difficult stage as Vancouver do. But, it's not easy. It's probably their most difficult stage they've had. They played the Shock back in stage one, but they haven't had these really tough fixtures. Vancouver is a tough fixture, Hangzhou is a tough fixture, and the LA Gladiators is a tough fixture. All games where they could drop maps, if not games entirely. So, Excelsior, they're in a good spot. And I'd expect them to qualify for the playoffs regardless, because, you know, you've got games against the Paris Eternal and Chengdu Hunters where you should be able to pick up a win and secure yourself a playoff. But New York could quite easily drop games. And the San Francisco Shock are, are, are on their heels. In terms of their divisional standings, I would not expect anyone to catch the New York Excelsior now. Their two wins over the London Spitfire in Stage 3 have put them in such a good position in the Atlantic Division. On a 19-2 record, the second place team is London Spitfire. And they're on a 12-9 and record. So they'd literally have to lose every game this stage. And London, London would have to win all their games this stage. Bearing in mind, London have to play Vancouver as well. London would have to win all of their games this stage, this stage four, as well as Excelsior losing them all, for Excelsior to even be within a chance of losing that top spot in the Atlantic Division. The same with the Fusion as well. They're also on a 12-9 and record. It's not going to happen, dude. It's not going to happen. Fusion have to play Vancouver as well. So I think Excelsior pretty much have got a playoff and the Atlantic Division sewed up, which puts them in an extremely strong position. Perhaps an even stronger position than the Vancouver Titans are in right now, considering the Titans have a much closer two foes against them, like the San Francisco Shock and the Hangzhou Spark. The Atlantic Division has been quite, quite top-heavy this season. You've got the top three in New York Excelsior, London Spitfire and Philadelphia Fusion, well ahead of the Atlanta Reign and Houston and all that. And Excelsior well ahead of the two chasing pack of London and Philadelphia. So the Atlanta division has been much more much more one-sided than the Pacific division has. The Pacific division is still fairly wide open. But I would expect Excelsior to make it to the playoffs. They should be able to get that bye in the first round. They are in such a good position to do so. If they didn't, it would be an absolutely massive shock. Would it be a surprise to see Excelsior drop some games this stage? No, it wouldn't. If you look at the end of last season in Stage 4, Excelsior had their worst stage of all, of all time. Simply because they were trying new stuff, they didn't want to give away strats, and teams just got sneaky wins on them. So, it wouldn't be a surprise for me for, for Excelsior to drop games, but not enough games to put them in a precarious position in terms of qualification. That was your uh, win conditions for the New York Excelsior. Next up is the San Francisco Shock. It's it's going to get interesting as we go down the league. It really, really is. Because these teams, including the Shock, are pretty much locked in. But when you go down the league, it gets really tasty. And these videos will get longer and more in-depth as we go down the league. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next video. See you then.